Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome to this quick tip video. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you guys a really quick trick of creating highlights and shadows in Adobe Illustrator which looks really really cool. Now a quick disclaimer here that this trick won't work 100% of the time but you know 70-75% to 75 of the time this is gonna work absolutely flawless. Now there will be a little bit of tweaks and tweaks you know here and there but that is just a part of it. So people who are just getting started with Illustrator this can be you know really handy and useful but yeah as I said it won't work all the time but 70 to 75 percent of the time it will definitely work. So yep let's get straight into Adobe Illustrator and let's see what I'm talking about. Alright so here we are in Adobe Illustrator and it doesn't matter which version of Illustrator you are using it's gonna work with every version of Illustrator. By the way I'm using Adobe Illustrator 2017 so here I have an artwork uh, which I created long back maybe around two years from now. By the way I have a speed art of this artwork on my channel itself so you can check it out in the playlist and there you can find a speed art playlist. So I'll put the link in the description if you want if you guys want it. So let's say I want to create highlights and shadows on the earphones right over here. So let's say a light is coming from this side. So this the top of this headphones is going to be kind of a shiny not a shiny I'll say the top of this headphone should have the highlight and the bottom right over here maybe should have some shadows. So to create some really nice uh, highlights and shadows what I can do is I can select the layer right over there hold alt to duplicate it just like that and hold shift to just drag it just like that. So there we have it then what I can do is I can select this again hold alt and shift again just drag it just like that or if you can leave shift you can just move it something like that so now we have two copies then what I can do is select them and go right over here in the pathfinder tab if you don't have the tab you can just go into windows and there you will find it the pathfinder and then click on where it says minus front or minus top minus front I guess yeah and so there we have something like that then we can make it a real nice and light color something like that and hold shift and just drag it just like that and it should snap in just like that if it doesn't you can just go zoom in and you know use your arrow keys to just snap it up like that and you and here you go you have this really nice highlight the same thing I can do for the shadows select the layer hold alt and just drag it by holding shift then hold alt and just drag it just like that select both the oh select both the layers click on the minus front so there we have it and then I can make it a bit darker something like that and just hold shift and just drag it and snap in just like that see there we go so there we have our really nice highlight and shadows you can do with many kind of thing let's say I can do with this tie so let's hold alt and just drag it but now you can see if I do the same thing right over here to create some shadows we have some different kind of pieces right over here so if I do that it's not gonna work so to make it work what we can do is hit ctrl Z make sure the complete thing is selected and just click on this icon which says unite so it's gonna unite it just like that and then we can do the same thing hold alt just drag it just like that select them and minus front there we go we don't need the stroke so you can just unstroke it make it a bit darker something like that hold shift and just drag it and snap it up just like that use your arrow keys to just be a bit more precise just oh there we go now the problem here you can see is our shadow is on the top of the stroke and that's why the stroke is getting covered up so what we can do is we can select the shadow and change the transparency to darken I guess yep and there we go now you can see here we have this kind of an artifact you can say which doesn't really look good so to make it smooth you can just select the select the direct selection tool just select this point and there we get a circle like that and just drag it so we have something like that same thing I'm gonna do right over here just like that and there we go you can see a little bit of artifact so I as I said you need to do a little bit of tweaking here and there to make it work for you guys but it won't work all the time 
So that's how you can, you know, illustrate and create highlights and shadows for your complete character. You can do this with his face as well. So let's try with the face if it works. So here we go. Don't need the stroke. So you can just set this to zero. Maybe I'll create, create something like that. Minus front, make it darker just like that and drag it right over here and I'll set this to darken so there we go really easy to do and really quick and handy so I hope this quick tip comes in really handy and helps you guys as it helped me so yep that is a wrap for today I hope this quick tip was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative